extremely vigilant. And if there are any mishaps on this procedure, so I want you to triple check the prep area. I understand. Don't just say what you think I want to hear. This procedure is extremely delicate under the best of circumstances. Well, we don't have that luxury. This hospital has been besieged with mishaps. Stored ambulances. Mrs. Storch found dead in her bed. Sabotage elevators. And now Dr. Winter's father. No confidence building, to say the least. Consider this a warning. If anything goes wrong with this, I will make it my personal mission to make sure that heads roll. You got that? Absolutely, Dr. Shaw. Okay, prep my award. Um, that room is unoccupied. This entire wing has been shut down. I had no idea. Yes, well, we've been forced to cut back. Patients haven't been exactly storming the doors. Yeah, well, I suppose with all the accidents we've been experiencing, uh, they were bound to have an adverse effect. Well, it's just a matter of time before this hospital becomes a business. The business of medicine. We're entering a very sad era, indeed. You look like I feel. Your sadness trumps mine. You lost a man that you knew and loved your entire life. I just lost a baby that was never mine to begin with. Pain is pain. Can't quantify it. Spoken like a true shrink. Dr. Winner, the police are back to question you about your father's murder. So what is uh, Nurse Crowell doing her spare time? Does she have a boyfriend? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Come on, you guys must have talked. She must have mentioned something. All Jolene talks about is work. All work, no hobbies, no place she likes to hang out, nothing? Ask Jolene. Tell me my wounded ears deceive. And I didn't just hear you pump the unsuspecting one for personal knowledge about the sometimes not so fair Jolene. What? Listen, listen to me. Dude, dude, what? I thought you shared the jackal's disdain for a woman who could use her considerable arsenal of sexual weapons on one man while trying to seduce another. It, the jackal jumped to an erroneous conclusion. I mean, you're not. You're conducting an investigation. You understand? I, ha I have to. No, this confuses me. Okay, yeah, so Jolene may be dismissive and cavalier with sensitive hearts, and that may make her dislikable, perhaps, but I'm, it's not as if she's killed anyone. Nurse? You should probably be more careful about walking up on me like that. Better than anyone, how dangerous I can be. Keep that fire in your eye. We're going to need it as we approach the conclusion of our mission. This is a big hospital. Lots of people to choose from. Haven't I done enough for you people? Having second thoughts? I... I know what I have to do. One more assignment, and you can reap the benefits of your efforts. MedCam plans to go public with a takeover announcement tomorrow morning. So tonight, we need to make that one last strategic push that sends General Hospital into full collapse. I assume you have something specific in mind? Mm. A high-profile takedown, one guaranteed to give us all the negative publicity we could want. Target someone in the family, so to speak. You want me to make sure that Toussaint Dubois doesn't make it out of surgery alive? I was my favorite patient today. This uh, surgery I'm having, how complicated is it? Didn't Dr. Drake explain? I'm asking you. <sighs> For a brilliant neurosurgeon like Drake Jr., it's business as usual. You have a slow intermittent bleed in your brain. Caused by a cerebral aneurysm, that part I know. 
He'll place small metal clips in front of and behind the bleed. Those clips stay in place, you'll be good to go. Simple as that? As simple as that. With that much metal in my head, you think I can pick up satellite radio? <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to call anyone? He's asking me that. You're worried I'm not going to make it, aren't you? I am not worried at all. You publicly expressed a desire to see your father's suffering end. I didn't realize that was a crime. It took a turn for the worse when he was taken off life support and you were found with the body. Look, I want to make it clear. Any pending charges against you will be limited to the investigation into Roger Winter's death. We're not trying to connect it to any of the other accidents and murders that seem to be plaguing this hospital. We're treating it as an isolated incident, at least for now. But I strongly suggest... If there's anything you can tell me that would definitely exonerate you, now's the time. My father's last wish was granted. That's all that matters. Then I'm sorry. Dr. Winters, I need to arrest you for the murder of Roger Winters. Look, I want you to run a complete background check, okay? Pay particular attention to how Jolene made her way to GH. What, Stone Cold, you haven't given me a direct answer. Exactly what crime do you suspect Fair Jolene of committing? Come on. Certainly, certainly you don't think she's... You certainly don't think she's responsible for all the heinous acts that have befallen this team. We're going to find out. I need you to do a financial sweep, okay? Bank accounts, stock portfolios, deposits that don't make any sense. Yeah, I got it. Okay? And I want you to try to reconstruct, if you can, Jolene's movements since she started working the night shift. Okay. Especially where she was, what she was doing the nights the ambulance exploded, Mrs. Storch died, the elevator sabotaged. You get the yeah, idea? Yeah, of course. Don't, the Jackal will happily perform any task assigned by the Master, but this one will give me exceptional satisfaction because I am sure that our investigation will prove Jolene guilty of nothing more than leaving a string of broken hearts in her trail. I, I hope you're right. Want some help? Oh, I don't think so. I've never known you to turn down an extra pair of hands. Uh, you know how intense Dr. Drake gets when he operates? Imagine that by a million times now that the patient is Toussaint. I'm not surprised everybody loves Toussaint. And the point is, Dr. Drake assigned a prep work to me, which means I'll be held personally responsible if this room isn't exactly as he dictated. The fewer hands involved, the less chance there is for error. No offense. Not taken. Moving on.